there everyone welcome back my friends we are hitting you with another love song thank you to liz for the suggestion we're going to do a lyrical analysis of this song um it is by beach house and it's called real love um they are considered an alternative band it looks like this album was released in 2010 um under the name teen dream and it's their third album so let's hit up a beach house and see what we can find out don't come for me i'm sorry it's just anytime i hear that i do not think of that olivia rodrigo song driver's license with a car sound ding, ding like the turning signal i know it's not the same but i have never i've heard that song so many times that's literally what it makes me think of <laughs> So I met you somewhere. So I think in the, I met you somewhere in, in a hell beneath the stairs. So, I mean, I think that's some imagery, right? I, I mean, I, th I would like to know more. There's someone in that room that frightens you and they go boo. So I think hell, right? Makes sense if there's someone in the room that frightens you. So like, mm, maybe abuse, that's what makes me think of. Um, they frighten you when they go boo. So I met you somewhere in a hell beneath the stairs and we were hiding underneath the stairs, underneath like a staircase. And then we had that chorus of booze. of all i love her i love her voice um it's this whole thing is so haunting um and i want to pay attention to the diction here the color you say is black so i think by saying that that you say she's pointing out that like that's your opinion and that's maybe not what everyone else sees so the color you say is black might actually be the one that you lack so the thing that you think is you that you think i if we're looking at the color here as black as in you know, sad or mourning, um, maybe that's not really what it is. And maybe that's actually what they're lacking in their life. Whatever this thing is, um, I think black is just being used as a metaphor here or uh, personifying this like emotion or this like feeling. Like the color you say is black and you might not like it, it might actually be something that you are missing inside yourself. And maybe the color you say is black, we're talking about love because the love you never got because of whatever abuse or trauma you've had is something that now you're terrified of, right? And so you don't want anything to do with it because, you know, it's black, it's it's um, it's turned your, your insides, it's turned you um, bitter. And maybe that's actually what you're lacking. In the sights of your eyes, is there a righteous prize? And so maybe, you know, righteous, being prideful, um, too much that direction and not being willing to bend um, can be an issue. Ooh, ooh, interesting. Okay, okay, okay. 
Okay. First of all, I feel like this is something you would listen to like at nighttime as you're driving down the coast, like to the beach or whatever. Um, I also like how slow this is going. It's like, it's like she's talking to this person and it's uh, maybe there's a relationship that they're trying to build with this person. And um, it's very slow. I think they realize that they need to go slow. There's a lot happening. And so we have a lot of these O's and like um, long period stretches. And I wonder if that's to signify like going slow and taking their time. We're not rushing through anything. And you kind of get that sense with the music as well. It's so interesting that like she she calls out that like there's something wrong with it's not just your heart but our hearts so i wonder if that's like actually signifying our as in our her and this person she's talking to or like society because when we need care they stand apart so clearly there's been some hurt where you feel like uh you can't go to someone to help you like you're afraid that they'll continue to break your heart so when you just care for it yourself right you're you kind of have like this like wall around you um but in the black moonlight we watch the seabird fall real love it finds you somewhere with your back to it so like even when you're not expecting it even when you're like i don't want it i've turned my back on you um love can find you and maybe that's where they are right now it, it's you know in the black moonlight watch the seabird fall real love will find you interesting because before she's talking about like the color black maybe that's something that you lack is you're missing that color and now we're talking about the black moonlight and falling in love so we've kind of been like maybe that's what you're lacking and here it maybe appears is what that person is lacking because now it's um, a reason for love <laughs>
I love that, right? So we kind of go through this whole portion of the song and it sounds very melancholy. There's very melancholic. There's no, it doesn't seem like there's a lot of necessarily hope or happiness. It's just very kind of um, almost dreamy, right? But very melancholic. And then we hit that change and then she hits us with, you know, you, you know, you know, we belong. So, you know, we went from I met you and, and then our, our hearts, there must be something wrong with our hearts to like, you know, you know that, you know, we belong deep down, you know, that together we belong by the stream to the dawn. So we went from being scared under the stairs in some kind of hell to now, I think going through this really long kind of winding story as she like, you know really slowly moves us through it to like bringing that person around and maybe even her own self to um coming to the realization that you know that we belong we belong and i think that's either with each other it doesn't even have to be with each other it could just be like we went through hell and i know that i belong i belong here so it could even be about self-love by the stream to the dawn and that's like outside full of hope you've made it through the the black midnight and now you're at the stream and you have um you know the dawn coming down on you you've made it through that dark night of your life into the daylight so i think that's so beautiful that we went from like inside and and she used that to personify you know this experience or this trauma to being outside in the light um to and and then changing that music to really um showcase that difference i'm so sorry about that speaking of light it is like uh, that is this that's the sun so we're back and forth i'm so sorry um but yeah wow thank you liz i really love that um uh, it was very dreamy and very like chill i feel like there are a lot of places you could listen to this song in a lot of different instances um for a lot of different moods um but I loved it. All right, y'all. I will catch you in the next one. Bye.